in our previous session we have seen what is view what is the purpose of view and how to implement view as part of mvc so we have implemented so far the model required with domain classes interfaces and concrete class then we implemented controller followed by we implemented view as well now what is remaining now to understand about this mvc now if you observe over here the data which is coming to this view from controller is not so dynamic right so we have to pass the data dynamically from a controller and to a view that we can do by making use of a view model so what is view model view model is a class that will contain all the data for a view and controller will be responsible for building up the view model and pass it to the view okay so controller will be responsible for building up the view model and it will pass to the view okay so let's create view model inside this project so inside this project let's create a new folder over here by going to add new folder let's name this as view models okay. inside this view model i'm going to create a new view model over here i'll name it as groceries list view model okay so i'll just create a class over here i'll just add a class and for this class i'm going to name it as groceries list view model click on add button now you can see an empty class got created over here so as part of this groceries list view model here we will we are going to add property for each type of data that we will need in our view so if you observe our view what is the type of data we need we need groceries we need category right so for these two whatever the data which we require inside our list.cshtml that is our view we are going to create corresponding properties inside groceries list view model.cs so inside this class here we will add the property for each type of data that we will need inside our view okay so let's add those properties over here we need i enumerable of groceries right so we need i enumerable of grocery of type grocery and the name of this property will be groceries okay. that's it <clears throat> now we'll create another property which is required for our view that is public string current category okay current category I will just show you how we can make use of these properties inside our view by building up using controller that we will see next. So now you can see an error over here because we have not used the using for this. So you can make use of using grocery store dot models. Okay, just import this here. You can see using grocery store dot models. That's it. This is groceries list view model where it has these two properties which we require as part of our view okay now next step what we have to do as part of this next step what we have to do is we have to create an instance of view model inside our controller so inside grocery controller.cs here you can see inside this list action method here we are going to create an instance of groceries list view model okay browser is list view model that is equal to new browser is list view model okay so what is the use of this here we are going to create an instance of view model and for this instance we will pass the data which we will need in our view okay we will pass the data which we will need in our view here you can see browser is list view model dot groceries so before this let's import this groceries list view model okay by using grocery store dot view models okay so this error is gone now now by making use of this reference of this instance that is groceries list view model dot groceries okay this will be equal to underscore 
grocery repository dot all groceries. So if you observe this underscore grocery repository is a variable which we have created as a private variable read only variable inside this grocery controller. This is only private to this controller, right? So as part of this reference, that is underscore grocery repository and using dot all groceries, we are assigning this to groceries list view model dot groceries. Okay. And here in this case, instead of re returning underscore grocery repository dot all groceries, instead of returning this view, that is by passing this data, instead of this, we can directly pass this groceries list view model inside this view. Okay. So we can delete this. Okay. And here we can pass groceries list view model directly. So before to that, if you observe along with all these groceries, we also need to pass what is the other thing which we need to pass as part of list view model. Here you can see we have made use of this groceries over here, right? As part of groceries list view model. The other property which we had added is current category. So for this current category also, I'm going to build up data inside controller and I'm going to pass the data to the view. Okay. This is something like a pipeline, like a controller will make use of groceries uh, list view model. Controller will be make use of uh, that is view model data. Using those properties, we are going to assign some data over to that and going to pass to the view. That is like a pipeline. Okay. So here we are going to make use of groceries list view model dot. We can access current category. Current category, this will be equal to, for example, fruits. Okay. That's it. This is part of the controller, what we have done. We have created an instance over here of the view model. And for this instance, we are going to pass the data which we need inside our view that we have done so far. Now, what is the next step? Next step is as part of view, we have to retrieve this data as part of this controller, right? From controller, we have to get the data and display in our view. That we will see next how to do, okay? So inside list.cshtml, instead of getting data from grocery store dot models dot grocery here i'm going to change this okay i'm going to use directly the project name grocery store dot view models dot groceries list view model okay groceries list view model and here what we have to do inst now what we have to do next step is we have to display the data by fetching from controller how we can fetch from controller by making use of at the rate model here we have used this right we have used this now we can make use of that inside over here like this by using h1 and here you can make use of it by using at the rate model dot current category Sorry. dot here you have to okay current category so this will fetch current category value from controller what is the current category value from controller? It is fruits. So fruits is going to be displayed on our web page with H1, that is header. Okay. Now next, what we have to do as part of this model, we are getting the groceries from it, right? So variable grocery in model dot. Here we have to use groceries. Groceries. Model dot groceries. That's it. Now we are making use of this razor expressions to get name price as well as category name. Okay. So what is, what is the difference between previously what we had implemented and what we have implemented now as part of view model output is still the same. Not, there is nothing changed between the previously found output and now what we are displaying, but only difference is we have a better architecture between controller and view where we can like communicate between controller and view by making use of this view model. That's it. So we are just going to add properties over here. Add properties inside this view model for each type of data that we will need inside our view. That's all. And by making use of these properties inside our controller, we'll build up the view model and we'll pass to the view from here. From view, we are going to fetch the all these property values from controller and we are going to display on our web page. That's it. So now let's run this and let's see the output. I'll click on this. So build got started. Okay. 
build got succeeded now you can see our project will be hosted on localhost 44361 <clears throat> one more thing if you observe as part of routing we have not provided the exact path so let's provide the exact path over here by using slash grossly slash list so this is how we are going to display our data on our web page in our upcoming videos we will see how to navigate to this particular url that is slash grocery slash list for now we are just entering the url and we are seeing the output okay now you can see here fruits is the current category category which is getting displayed over here you can observe over here we have provided at the model dot current category so current category in this case is fruit so fruits is getting displayed and grocery name price and category all these details are getting displayed for each of these items each of these grocery items because we are iterating through each of these grocery items right here you can see for each loop for each grocery in model dot groceries so each of these groceries it will pick and for each of the, these groceries it will display name price as well as category name like this that's it so that's it for this video guys about list view model thank you so much for watching please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos you click on that bell icon so that you'll start receiving notifications whenever i'm uploading a new video